In this video, we're going to implement a HTTP endpoint to delete a particular item. We create a function delete. It has a handler, which is sitting in the to-dos directory. And then it's a delete.js with delete function exported. We're going to attach an event. It has an HTTP event. It's the path to do's and has a path parameter ID. The method is delete and we enable course. We create the file delete.js in the to-do's directory and start coding. As always, we use the strict mode where you require the AWS SDK and instantiate at the NemoDB client. We create the function delete, export it, and then use the NemoDB delete to actually delete one particular item. The parameters we need to provide are similar than before. It contains a table name with to do's and then a key item with an ID inside. Again, we're going to use the event.pathparameters.id to actually get the ID. If deletion fails, we log out the error and invoke the callback. And in case of success, we invoke the callback with a constructed response. In this case, the body is empty because there's not much to return. We deploy our service for a last time, and this will expose a new HTTP endpoint. Before we actually delete our item, let's verify it's there. Okay, so far so good. And now invoke the same endpoint with the method delete. If we list all the available to-dos now, we can see an empty list is returned. So we finished our whole REST API. Pretty cool. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. And in case any questions arise, feel free to ping us on Twitter, email or comment on this video on YouTube. Thank you very much for listening.